Hey guys, welcome back to Everly's Build a House. Uh, so in our last video, we had just finished pouring the walls of our basement. Um, and so we'll go over kind of what the guys did next uh, to get ready for building the floor in our house. So if you remember in our last video, there were um, some deck ledgers that were just temporarily held on the back of the house just with screws and they were just screwed into the ICF webbing. Um, Aaron and his dad had then drilled and wet set uh, some bolts so that later after the concrete had cured they could go back and tighten those so they did that and then on the inside of the house if you remember there were all those cutouts in the styrofoam and then they were covered with plywood that was so that all the concrete would in infill into those holes uh, and so then Curtis and Aaron um, stripped off all the plywood and you could see all the exposed concrete then they went ahead and temporarily held up the floor ledgers just with screws again into the ICF webbing and then they had to take a hammer drill and drill into all those concrete squares and then set in all of the bolts and tighten them so that the floor ledgers could be hung so that was the next step check it out <music> These are those bolts that we had um, sitting in the board ready to go for when the concrete is poured and they were wet set in there. So a little later on we're going to go and crank on all these nuts and tighten that up and that'll suck that to the wall and that's going to hold up our deck. Yeah. So here's all those nuts will get tightened up and that's actually what's, what's the strong part. We screwed those all into the webbing. That's not strong, it's just there to hold it until the concrete and the bolts do. We're doing the same thing inside here. We're just, Dad and I, we're just screwing this up to the webbing. And uh, tomorrow, when I get the right tools that I need, the right hammer drill bit, and I'll go and I'll drill those, and we'll get those installed. And that will be, right now it's just sitting up there with a couple of uh, deck screws. So it's not strong. If you put any weight on there, it would just pull right off. So we'll bolt it in tomorrow and that'll keep it strong. So we poured our wall this week and here's what those cutouts look like filled up with concrete. Here, I got all the braces and stuff. Here's those dowels full of concrete too. So that's what'll hold our floor, our basement floor. And this here, will look like that eventually but we need to bolt through this into those concrete cutouts and that's what will hold this end of the floor up now the other thing here is these beam pockets that we put in there so the steel beam will sit right inside there right on top of the concrete wall and that will hold middle of the floor up basically all the way from here all the way over there so we got these dowels all the way through the inside to hold the floor up 
We've got those cutouts up there to hold the upstairs floor. The beam pockets here. That's there. And that's how that works. trusses have arrived. Here's our big steel beam. It's going to go into those beam pockets and then be held up by three teleposts. Here it goes.
Okay, here's the finished floor. So those ledgers bolted on there. We've got the truss sitting on the ledgers. The other end of the truss is on the, the steel beam, which are on the teleposts. These two are, I believe they're 12,000 pound rated posts, and this one is 21,000. I think that's because of this hole. I'm not sure exactly how all the engineering works, but there must be more load there because of this hole here or something. Um, we went with 20 inch web trusses. And this lets you get every, keep everything tucked up top there. All of our ducts are going to be up in the webbing, up coming off the top of the main duct, which will be in the mechanical room on the other side of the beam there. Then everything will come off the top and shoot up over top. Yeah, so over here we've got the ledgers. Over here the ledger. We, um, these trusses, they also, as, as well as supporting the floor this way, they also support the walls. Uh, these walls can't fall in with these trusses built the way they are. They would basically have to crush all of these trusses. From that wall to this wall is held up by those trusses. Now that doesn't provide the same strength this way though. So for that, uh, the engineer had a, a detail for us. And we've got these bra uh, braces, I guess they are. So they, they we had to cut out the ICF so that, that actually bears on the concrete not on the foam foam is obviously just gonna squish and then you uh, you do some blocking and you've got a, a gusset there and we glued and screwed the heck out of everything and these are every oh and there's also the boards up on the on the plywood there so between these braces and the plywood being uh, or the, the decking being glued and screwed on there that'll provide that lateral support this way so the trusses do it, north and south, and the braces. Oh, and the strong backs here too. Also tie these all together. I forgot to mention these guys. There's uh, certain locations we had to uh, put in, they're called strong backs. So this will tie all the trusses together. So when you're walking upstairs, you know, it's not bouncing around or nothing, nothing moves. And it's, it's six nails or screws per truss on every one of those strong backs. So I'm glad I've got that pass load nailer because holy cow, that was a lot of nails. And that is basically our completed floor. Another thing I should maybe mention here, um, this hole is where the stairs are going to be. Um, so those trusses didn't come all the way to the beam here, obviously. So we had to make our own beam. This is a two ply, two by 10 just with regular joist hangers, nailed the joist hangers to the, the trusses there, and those trusses are doubled up to carry the load. And there's actually a, there's a bracket for those too. Let's see if I can get a shot of it up there. You see that little bracket? It connects those trusses together so they can't pull apart. And then this beam sits in between them, and those trusses bear on that beam. And this, is, uh, this will be the hole for our stairs. It won't be quite this big. We have to build out a little bit right up here. Not quite the fireplace, but kind of in the TV fireplace area there. Everything went pretty well. Um, learned a few things, it was kind of fun to do. So that's how that works.